Okay, so we've done our axial, move on now P2 to P3, and the question when you look, they look for central symmetry. We've got the bisector here, so we've got that center point there. We call that center point S. So in central symmetry, all the points go through the center point, and they go equal distance through the center point. The lovely thing here is the first point is done for you. So if you copy how the first point is done, you get the other points. So I'll take point two. Okay, point two goes through the center point and it goes equal distance through the center point. And again I'm gonna mark it two. Move out now, we'll do four through the center point, measure from the center point to four, flip it. New position for four. Point measure from center point to one. One measure from three to the center point. Measure to three, flip it, new position for three. Okay, join them in the same way. So uh, one joins to P, one joins to P. P joins to two, two joins to three. Three joins to four. And one and four are joined on the arc. Okay, central symmetry. All points go through the center. Okay, so that's we're into the last stage now, so we've got the majority of the marks for 70 to 80% there in the question.